This presidential debate will be like none other, featuring two candidates who only recently began officially running against each other last month. Both could be seen as an incumbent, while both have reason to push that label on their opponent. We spoke with two local politicians with experience on the debate stage as a candidate to see what they think. A presidential debate absorbs attention, trains the spotlight and the glare of the camera onto two lonely individuals on stage. As Philadelphia mayor for eight years, Michael Nutter has been there, sometimes facing multiple opponents at once. He says Kamala Harris needs to treat this as an introduction. But there are voters out there who still don't necessarily know her that well. Independents, moderate Republicans who were never thrilled about the possibility of voting for uh, Donald Trump. I think she spends most of the night really talking to them, being presidential, showing the uh, command of facts, but also not going to be pushed around. Trump wins if the debate stays on the issues, so says a former candidate for Congress in the Philadelphia suburbs who has advised several Republican campaigns, Guy Shiraki. I would say to President Trump, I want you to write on an index card inflation, cost of groceries, fighting crime, sealing the border, and lastly, the election's about them, not you. And then there is what each candidate will say, but also how they will say it. After all, this debate will be dissected in real time and over and over afterwards on the socials. Vice President Harris has to figure out how to push back, but not be seen as angry black woman, um, you know, shrieking high voiced woman, uh, which, you know, guys can get away with pushing back. We can holler, we can scream, we can jump up and down for whatever reason. Uh, and people say, oh, he's being assertive. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately for female candidates, uh, sometimes that, that doesn't work out. President Trump has had good days and bad days. He, he's been glib, he's been funny, he's been sincere, he's been angry. We've experienced those emotions for eight years. I don't think there's anything he's going to say that's going to surprise us. And then there is this, a lack of familiarity between the candidates. Harris and Trump have never personally met each other. The only time they have been in the same building was during former President Trump's State of the Union addresses. Just like the viewers will tell you, first impressions matter. And Tam, along those lines, I'm kind of hoping that either David Muir or Lindsey Davis, the moderators mm -hmm. tomorrow night, will ask each candidate, now that you finally met, What's your first impression? I would imagine the response to that will be quite memorable. I'm sure they are look, interested in all kinds of input and hopefully they will think about your question, Matt. That's a really good one. It could be listening, yes.